What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have Seven Star Sandman in the Thronebreaker difficulty. And we're going to take him down with our four star Karnak. And I'm going to explain how he works. So let's talk about the nodes that he has first. So inflicting the defender with incinerary cold sample rupture effects uh, grants us an endurance passive, which is going to shorten the duration of future non-damaging debuffs by 3%. So this is quite decent for us. If you inflict incinerary cold sample rupture, uh, the next debuff he applies to you or the next non-damaging debuff he applies uh, will not last as long. Uh, and this guy applies Petrify on his special one and then six other debuffs on his special two, which we're going to talk about in a second. Uh, and then the first hit of his heavy attack pauses all non-damaging debuffs uh, on you for 10 seconds. Then if you crit five times, as you can see, I have a crit here, uh, passive four. So this means that my fifth crit is going to purify all non-damaging debuffs on me. See, we have those six uh, kind of like slow debuffs. Um, and then all of them got purified because it's my fifth crit. And then he's got a 10% limber. Not too bad. And then power through sickness. So this is probably the most um, annoying one, I should say. So each time the attacker is inflicted with any debuff, the defender gains a power gain passive, granting 10% of max power over 8 seconds. And this power gain does not stack multiple times. So this is like the one that maybe if you don't know how to dex a special 2 or you push him to a special 3, you're going to die. Um, but it's not really too difficult. Now for his ability. So this guy is immune to bleed, poison and shock. So keep that in mind. My Karnak is actually missing some of his damage because with his third focus charge, he uh, instant bleeds the defender, but because he's bleeding you, uh, obviously we cannot do that. And also, Sandman's uh, debuffs, um, they get purified, or sorry, they, they expire one at a time, and they last for, um, or every second, I mean. Uh, so if, if this guy's going to throw two petrifies, you see... Karnak is going to shrug those off quickly because of his abilities and then the second purify or petrify uh, goes and then he's got resistance ups so he's resistance ups on defense he gets whenever he hits you into the block with uh, light or medium attacks he gets one but the good thing here is that we're critting so much and every time you crit you remove one resistance up and you don't want this guy to get like 20 resistance ups because uh, he's going to go into his unstable form it's pretty easy to manage them to be honest uh, you just don't bring someone that's not critting ever uh, bring like a skill champion with some decent crit rate even if fury should be fine and yeah if he gets a 20 it's gonna be <laughs> pretty bad because he goes as his unstable form and then he places a root uh, but that should not happen unless the fight goes like really really bad so with his special one when he pops it you get inflicted with two petrifies and on each hit, he places another two, but only if they hit you or you block them. But you can easily outrange it. I mean, his special one is very, very easy to avoid. You just outrange it. He's got four punches and you just go in on the fourth one. Uh, probably gonna show it right here, that one, two, three. And on the fourth one, you go in. It's pretty easy to outrange. And then the special two. So I might even show it towards, yeah, now in the fight, I think, maybe not. No, I bait this. I'm going to show you though after. So on activation, he gains two resistance ups. And with the special one, he gets one. And he applies six decelerate debuffs of 7% potency. And if he hits you, he applies three on each hit. So let's see the special two. There it is. He covers some uh, space of the map. Then boom. It's like simple decks. I uh, just need to learn the timing. But it's not too bad. He applies six of them. And, you know, they expire one at a time. But again, if you crit five times, everything gets uh, purified. And the good thing about Karnak is that he purifies every non-damage debuff like 60% uh, faster or 65 or something. Um, so yeah, it is a big uh, fight because this guy's health is actually pretty, pretty big. <laughs> and those resistance ups can be pretty, uh, making pretty tanky. But yeah, watch out of this power gain node and everything should be fine. Like his special attacks are very easy to dex, especially that special one. But we go ahead and finish him with that special too. And Karnak finishes with a full yellow bar. Okay, so now let's talk about the best options for this guy. So something I forgot to mention is that, let's say something goes really wrong with uh, the resistance ups. He loses two if he gets inflicted by bleed, poison, or shock from a skill champion. So let's say Black Hat has those bleeds. Really, really uh, great stuff if you want to get rid of some resistance ups. 
Moleman has a lot of bleeds on his frenzy. Uh, Falcon has two uh, two bleeds. Hawkeye, and then even Hitmonkey has some. Uh, if something goes really wrong, but I feel like the best champions are the ones that like shrug off. Especially like Moleman, he gets to his frenzy really fast. Kingpin with the hood synergy or Joe Fix's synergy is probably the fastest and really, really, really strong. Because those overpowers, you can even block your special attacks if you want to do this and like speed run the boss. Uh, just block it, get like three overpowers. And that is like a GG right there. Actually, Zemo could be a really fun option because you can't think with debuffs. So that means you're going to root him really fast. He's always going to be bleeding. So I don't know how this interaction is going to work. Maybe he loses like resistance ups every second. Uh, that could be something really special. But yeah, uh, Sandman is not really that big of a deal as a defender. Um, special one really easy to outrange. Special two, you can dex it. Like you might get hit, hit by it for the first two times, but then you can easily dex it. It's like literally one, one dex. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. Let me know what you guys think about Sandman. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.